All right, these next three days, we're gonna be trying an experiment. We're gonna do the world's first place site arcade. Let's see how it goes, it's gonna be exciting. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of engagement, a lot of focus, and kids getting excited. Doing things that normally they don't really love to do. They're gonna love it because they're gonna see the results, their personal results, they're gonna be able to compare themselves to other kids. It's gonna be quite a journey. Let's see, let's rock and roll. Scores are calculated by a formula. This formula keeps evolving and we are getting to a nice place with it. And it gives an idea of how well a player can hit their target and keep the ball in the court. They get penalized if it goes out, but we keep going and we look for positive scores from each kid. Court number one is return of serve. The return of serve, you're gonna have a forehand and a backhand. It's a forehand out wide if you're right-handed. It's a slice and then a, and a kick at the tee. The goal for the player, hit it past the service line. They get points, extra points, if they get it past the service line, if they get it in the court, even if it's short, they also get points. However, if it goes out, they're gonna lose a few. But it becomes an arcade game, and they're looking for that sound. Court number two, live hitting up the middle. Now you have two kids, they're hitting up the middle, and they're trying to get that sound past the service line. And if they get it, they get a point. If they hit it a little shorter, but it still goes in, they also get a point, but with less value. And if it goes out, they're gonna lose half a point. But it becomes an arcade game. They're looking for that sound, and they wanna see how they do against players their similar level, and they see how they do against themselves. Ah! Court three, freestyle hitting with the ball machine. So it's a forehand running backhand, backhand running forehand, and then again, a forehand running backhand. It's six balls, then a 16 second break, and then you go again. It's four sets, 24 balls. Not an easy drill at all. You need to really run and be low and try to hit with depth. Hitting past the service line, you get the sound. And that's the game. Go to it. Court number four, forehand cross courts live. You'll see the players trying to hit with depth cross court. It only counts forehands. So every time they hit past that service line, they get that magical ring. And that becomes money in the bank. Hit with depth and see what you can do to, to get a good score on the playset arcade. Cross court forehands. Court number five, the serve game. Kids are gonna hit two serves. It doesn't matter if it's a first or second, they hit as hard as they can, try to get it in the box, and the returner doesn't return. They catch the ball, and then they put it in a, in a bucket, and then they serve two. And then when they do the two serves, they go to the add side. So they start on the do side, and then they go to the add side. And they do at least 12 serves. Court number six, backhand cross court, live hitting. So you're playing against another player, but we do it in a teamwork mode. All the live drills are teamwork. And we're looking to get as many as you can in the target area or in the court, preferably in the target area. And you get penalized if it goes out or wide. So try to get it in for that sound. Court number seven, transition hitting with the ball machine. So the player starts with a forehand deep, then they transition to a transition backhand, then a forehand volley. We purposely give them about eight seconds to walk back, and then they do it again. However, they do the opposite side. Then they do a deep backhand, then a transition forehand, and a volley. They do this seven times, 21 balls in total, with the emphasis of trying to get it in the target area, past the service line. We also look at their average speed. So every ball, you hit as hard as you can while trying to get it in the target area. During the Playsite Arcade three-day period, we had some matches. And during those matches, the kids got the ability to challenge calls using Playsite. What a difference maker. Now, if there's a bad call, a child can go challenge it, see the result, and then move on. It was incredible. There's some examples we'll show you here. Doing another challenge. This time, Stephanie is challenging. So here we go. After this, here we go. Side. That is it. Ooh. 